subscribe to my channel now remember subscribe to my channel see you this fake polyglot this alexander arguelles fake polyglot scammer this alexander arguelles this fake polyglot scammer he made a video here but i did not really watch it i just m keep moving forward because he just, just he's just very boring to listen to truly right and just to um develop your mind to uh develop your human potential you don't want to study and get nothing out of it you want to succeed at it um and so again we're, we're happy to help you but we have to give you a, a a normal language learner a normal language learner is somebody who's not obsessed with learning languages not um into it but just went logical step from logical step. obviously when you have a plan um it's um very very boring abnormal shit man Should you plan to become a polyglot? A discussion of polyglottery, planning and personality types. If you have decided that one of your life goals is to become a polyglot, then does it make sense to develop and follow a systematic plan to achieve this? Blah, blah, blah. Just very boring clown. And look here. If you might like to participate in my reading and discussion circus for French, German, Spanish or Latin literature or in seminars for great books of both Western and Eastern civilizations beginning in May of 2022, please see my website for more information. So it looks like he's going to sell some scammer course. If you can think of anyone else who might be interested in joining these discussion circles or who might like support for a self-study of foreign languages, please pass the above information along to them. Okay, so it's just some discussion forum, <laughs> discussion circle. Okay, so you sell some course where they're just going to discuss about language learning. If you are in a position to support my efforts to spread knowledge through these videos, I will gratefully accept any contribution to coffee.com or Alexander Arguelles. No, I will not give you money, you fake shithole scammer. And no one should give money to this fucking scammer. And you should not join his course or his discussion circle bullshit nonsense. And look here also, and look here also, he pinned his own comment. Be beginning in May of 2022, I will offer virtual options for working with me to improve your skills in reading French, German, Latin or Spanish literature, to engage in great books, discussions, and to provide support for a self-study of foreign languages if this might interest you. Please fill out the form on my website. I'll alexanderarguelles.com if this is not for you but you know someone whom it might interest please pass it this information on to them okay so we should pass your scammer course or your scammer bullshit to other people that we know you fucking fake shithole scammer This is great news, I will certainly apply, thanks for sharing your knowledge, yeah fuck you man. Who is this fucking clown here man? Just some clown with one video here. I'm very sure it's someone working with them or something like that, those fucking shitholes man. Just some bullshit man. I'm so glad I found your channel. I know three languages, blah 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 bullshit. 
Thank you very much. I know I have stopped and started my video making in the past, but my plan now is to keep up a regular pace so it may have to slow down soon from my current once per week. Yeah, fuck you, scammer shit hole, man. Let's see this website here, this fucking scammer shit, man. Alexander Arguelles, the fake polyglot scammer. Languages and literature with Alexander Arguelles. Welcome, I have devoted my life to learning as many languages as I, as I can. Bullshit, man. As well as I can so that I can read literature in them with pleasure and understanding. Ah, fuck you, man. Yeah, some fucking shit hole, man. What you will find here, a question and answer page. Yeah, you and your question and answer bullshit, man. A virtual academy where you can read and discuss literature with me in French, German, Spanish, and Latin. Yeah, bullshit with you. Latest question, answer, submission, five year polyglot plan for balance and maintains. Okay. Okay, blah, 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 bullshit, 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 bullshit. And of course, he mentioned, mentioned Asimil here. Asimil, all of them are working with Asimil, all of those scammer shit holes, man. You're, as you can see. Let's try to take a look on the other link here also, if it's the same or... Uh, it's the same link also his website but you say you have something that will start from May 2022 he say there's something that will start from May 2022 I don't know if it's this one find out more or if something else let's see here Alexander Arguelles, PhD in scamming and lying and fooling. PhD in scamming and fooling people, you fake shithole scammer, man. Yeah, fuck you, man. Yeah, bullshit with you, scammer, man. Let's see what this academy shit is about. The Alexander Guilis Academy of Languages and Literature coming May 2022. Academy purpose in May of 2022, I'll open my virtual academy to continue to offer the guidance I have provided for over 20 years as a university professor of scamming people, but now to participants from all over the world who want to be scammed from the master scammer Arguelles. The focus of the academy will be on weekly reading and discussion circles. <laughs> discussion circles of oh, bullshit, man. Yeah, fuck you, man. Yeah, bullshit with you. You fucking asshole, man.
Okay, okay, bullshit, asshole scammer. Ah, fuck you, man. Fuck your USA. Fuck your USA, you fucking asshole, man. You see this one express interest here if it's the same or what is this one let's see okay it's the same one yeah fuck you as holman the fake asshole want to sell you some scammer course is fake shit hole man. It's fake asshole who pretend that he can speak many languages. This fucking scammer shit hole man. Also in the video he mentioned that he his friend is friend with this asshole. Also in the video he mentioned that his friends with this asshole Richard Simcott. Obviously when you have a plan, um... Hello. My topic this evening is exactly as the title says. Should you plan to become a polyglot? So to begin to analyze this phrase, let me in good professorial fashion break it down and word by word and, and talk about some of the things that are going on in that question. Um, the main one being for people who are coming to my channel new because you... He mentioned that actually he did not know and you just want to know what's going on that are going on in that question. Um, the main one being for people who are coming to my channel new because you saw my cat and you clicked on it and you just want to know what's going on here. What's a polyglot? Um, in my uh, conversation with uh, my good friend and fellow polyglot Richard Simcott just a week or two ago. He His good friend Richard Shithole Simcott. His good friend Richard Sim Simcott Shithole Asshole. And you just want to know what's going on here. What's a polyglot? Um, in my uh, conversation with uh, my good friend and, and fellow polyglot Richard Simcott. Conversation with my good friend and fellow polyglot Richard Simcott. They're all working together, those fake asshole scammers. I can see he's looking to the left side and reading his script also when he's speaking English. His scammer friend Richard Simcott in your scam community, the language learning scam community. It's a week or two ago, he mentioned that actually he did not know what the term polyglot meant until after he'd become a polyglot and somebody said that's what you are. Richard Shithole Simcott didn't know the term polyglot until he became a polyglot and then he found out that's what he is. He is not a polyglot, he can only speak one language English and I'm very sure you're also some fake asshole shithole same like Richard Simcott shithole. We just have some short videos here shadowing a foreign language Chinese for one minute. Arabic, Sanskrit, and Chinese in the same video for three minutes. German languages of the world, eight minute video. Asimil, foreign language learning series, eight minute. Lingua, lingua phone, 
Foreign Language Learning Series Review Dutch Language of, of the World 8 Minute Videos Africans Languages of the World 9 Minute Video Just some bullshit nonsense and he just show some books or show some text that he's reading or something like that This fake shithole All the videos he's just showing some books or some text that he's looking and reading the text or something like that, this fake asshole. New Norsk, an introductory overview. You can see this fake asshole, he's just looking at some text and reading. He just look at a text and reading, it doesn't mean that he can speak the language, this fake shithole man. This is a text in New Norsk. New Norsk is uh, one of the two written forms of Norwegian, and this is the third little video of a series of uh, West uh, Scandinavian languages, Scandinavian languages being the North Germanic languages, so these are the Western Northern languages, and we're going to look at New Norsk uh, today and next week also. Next week we'll contrast it with the other form of the West Norse languages that we saw last week within that contain the uh, sort of the O character with the slash through it. Uh, we gain uh, an A with a little circle over that and we'll keep that with Wow, amazing. There is an O with a slash on it and there is an A and blah 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 you fucking asshole man. The other continental Scandinavian languages and if that's not enough and I, and I think it is it's also to note that in comparison with the uh, the insular Scandinavian languages Faroese and uh, Icelandic we really lose the the accent proper we do see it on, on one letter here but uh, that was all over the page in Icelandic and Faroese so this is what New Norsk looks like and now I'd like to explain to you uh, how it works by translating this text and this text uh, New Norsk being I'll explain what it is after I do that, uh, being sort of a modernization of, of Old Norse, Gamal Norsk, um, this is a modernization rather than a translation of uh, Eil Saga, which we read about uh, in Icelandic as well, and which we'll look at in the original when we do a review of uh, Old Norse. <clears throat> So, in order to do that, uh, I have to read this text to you, and uh, if I had a professional video studio to do this, I'd have a native speaker do that. I don't, so I have to do it myself, and I have absolutely no pretensions to uh, speaking this language or even reading it well. I'm just doing the best I can, so uh, bear with me, and... Yeah, bullshit with you, bullshit with you, fake asshole. You would just read a text in Norwegian, and someone who can speak Norwegian told you how to read it. You just show the text and read the text. It doesn't mean that you understand the language or can speak the language. And I think he do like this in every language. That's his proof that he can speak many languages. His proof that he can speak many languages is that he make many videos showing some text in different languages and just read the text. Then he want to pretend he can speak many languages. This fake polyglot this fake shithole uh, try to hear at very least what I'm, I'm going to try to bring out is what we're gaining now the peninsula is a Swedish that gives it a characteristic musical uh, lil already three minutes speaking in English Only, already three minutes speaking in English and he will just read some text only in Norwegian it's not a proof that he can speak the language you fake shithole man to it so um, if I can Read. De, there, var, was, ein, a, man, man, som, who, heite, was called, ulf, wolf, wolf. Han var son to Bjalva, or Han bera. Han, he, var, was, son, son, til, to Bjalva, Bjalva, og, or, and, Halbera. Yeah, fuck you. Fake shithole. Fuck you, shithole. So reading a text in Norwegian means that you can speak the language, you fake asshole. A text that you practice for a video. A text that you practice for a video and some native speaker practice with you. A native speaker practice with you the text, how to read it. And then you just read it. Also, we cannot see you.
we cannot see him maybe he's wearing a headphones maybe he's wearing a headphones and listening how to pro how to read it and he just repeat maybe he's wearing some headphones and listening how to read this text and then he just repeat after what he listening in the headphones just some faking asshole also he's looking at the text you can see he's just looking at the text this fake shit hole and han he had had ping pong uh, a purse or treasury he hop uh, together so they kept their their loot together og and de there var was din the sharesta uh, de, uh, dearest venska friendship made with die them yeah you fake asshole you're just looking and reading and maybe you're also wearing some headphones listening how to pronounce it Look here, you're speaking with a Swedish accent. Ha 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 ha. He's reading Norwegian and speaking with a Swedish accent because he don't know how to read or speak Norwegian. That's why he sounds like Swedish. Just some bullshit man. Yeah, yeah. Look here, he is over exaggerating the sing songiness of the language. It sounds nothing like this, not even Swedish. He sounds like the Swedish chef from the Muppets, which is a stereotype, is pronunciation. Is wrong. I used to like these videos, but after studying these languages, I find this over exaggeration and mispronunciation of the languages annoying. Come on, guys, the guy is not saying in any video that he is an expert, just that he will give it a go. Be pleased that he made all these videos and that he has got interest in our languages. Despite not being a native speaker, what you should pay more attention to is his vast knowledge, not on pronunciation, since no foreigner is going to be a good, as good as a native in that regard, especially, especially true for Danish. He cannot pronounce correctly and he's just looking and reading from a text. He's just looking and reading from a text because he don't know the language. And people and this clown here will say that he have knowledge in the language. He don't have knowledge. He just look and read from a script. You fucking clownsman. The speaker has to delve more into the fine points of Norwegian pronunciation. Several words here are mispronounced, and there is an overall foreign North American accent, which indicates that his natural language is English. Is However, serious and conscientious, yeah. He cannot speak the language and he just look and read from a script. And he do like this in all the languages, this fake asshole. You can see all the thumbnails here. All the thumbnails here, he's just showing some books. Let's try to take a look at the Danish one, yeah. Danish, an introductory overview. This okay, let's try to take a look here on the Danish video. This is a Danish text. It's the beginning of a story. Look, every video, every video, every language, he just show a text and read a text. It doesn't mean that he can speak the language or understand the language. He just show a text and read a text, this fake shithole. Because he cannot speak any of those languages. He cannot speak any of those languages, this fake asshole. He just show some text and read a text that he practice. And maybe he's also wearing headphones and listening. Maybe someone who is native speaker of Danish made some voice recording or he read this one and then now this clown, Alexander Arguelles clown, he's wearing some headphones and listening to the podcast or to the voice recording 
of this text here and repeating after maybe he's just listening in some headphones to the recording of this like to a voice recording of this text and repeating after by uh, Robert Storm Peterson whom I'm told is the quintessential Danish humorist and I would like to begin this video as I begin all of my little videos with the task of just helping you identify and distinguish this text this little video follows he want to help people to know about the language the fake asshole the fake shit hole want to help people to know about the language you fucking clown man directly upon the video that we had piece for Norwegian because they're one and the same language they use the same alphabet and Indian, of course but which which variety which variant has suggested that uh, what you could do is uh, look for a word that you would find in every single page and that might be the uh, index I think now it's looking at the Norwegian or something also and it articles short little words that begin in uh, Norwegian bokmål uh, with uh, our two letter words en or et where that e is diphthongized into uh, e but as we discussed last time also Norwegian bokmål he was looking at the Norwegian and now he showed the Danish one this fucking clown and uh, Danish were literally one and the same written language until 1907 when some spelling reforms set this apart from this and it is every bit as difficult to distinguish nothing of the languages but you can just identify them as scandinavian and you want to know what linked and in that case it's not the definite article scan the page for it's going to be on any given page of text that preposition form of uh the okay almost three minutes now he's speaking in english the video is less than nine minutes and already three minutes he's speaking in english and after that, he would just read the text in Danish. The accusative for the side versus side. Off when you pick up a text, and you're going to spend most of our time today looking at the, the different sound. Of More than three minutes speaking in English. More than three minutes speaking in English, you fake clown. Of Danish, some other this character here, the A and the E combined into uh, one letter. Uh, that's just much more common in Danish. Yeah, yeah, you tell people that the A and E is combined in one letter. That doesn't mean that you can speak Danish or no Danish, you fucking clown man. We have it four times taken out and either written with a dose. It's the difference between, well, we had book mole itself to and analyze it. So Almost five minutes now. Almost five minutes now speaking in English and only four minutes back of the video between a uh, lexical different probably just that the first choice is different in some cases like well i told you that third by a dane focus or, or locus what i need to do is almost uh contract my my diaphragm and sort of actually not difficult six and a half minutes speaking english and only the last two minutes and 20 seconds he will read the text in danish Six and a half minutes speaking in English, and now the last two and a half minutes he will read the text in Danish for like two minutes or something like that. This fake asshole. <laughs> His pronunciation is totally, totally wrong. His pronunciation is totally wrong. He don't know how to read Danish, this fucking asshole man. <laughs> His pronunciation is totally wrong, man. Lutecia, at this individual, have fun it as hell with already dirty leaf, lest me. Already, it's not already, it's already. All his pronunciation is wrong. All the pronunciation is wrong. All the words he's pronouncing them wrong. Then habit and bow is to embed. We Lutecia, at this individa, have fun it as hell with the already dirty leaf. Individa, individa, yeah. All the words he's pronouncing them wrong, this fucking clown man. This is not at all. Uh exemplary but i think it probably sounds something like this 
Lutecia at visse individer har fundet deres helvede allerede i dette liv, læste min ven Herbert M. Borstrømberg. Vi sad i hans store, hugelige stue. Men... Hugelig, hugelig stue! Ha, 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 ha! Hugelig, hugelig, ja! Yeah. Ha, ha! It's not hugelig, you fucking clown. It's hugelig stue. You pronounce it hugelig sku- stue. Hugelig, not hugelig. What hugelig? It's not hugelig. You cannot pronounce any word correct. All the words he pronounced it wrong. All the words he pronounced it totally, totally wrong. Vendelig, lad mig sige. Jeg har jo den bog, hvor lige det siger disse ord. Lad mig nu sige. Her må den stå i den tyske reol. Han søger i mange minutter. Han så jo. Så jo. Han så jo. You cannot pronounce the words correctly, you fucking clown. Men bogen er det ikke. Ja, ja da, siger han så og sætter sig. Den hører altså til for iskiden. For iskiden, spår jeg. Ja, jeg kalder det for iskiden. Det var nemlig en gang, at jeg opdagede, at en masse af mine allerbedste bøger var væk. Det var lånt ud. Og jeg havde glemt at skrive op til hvem jeg havde lånt dem. Okay, the end of the text. The end of the text, his pronunciation was okay, not 100% correct. Not 100% correct, but the last part, the last part of the text, he was pronouncing it a little better. But it's only pronunciation. It doesn't mean that he can speak the language. He just tried to read. He just tried to read and pronounce. And I think he practiced with someone who can speak Danish how to pronounce it. And maybe he's wearing headphones and and repeating after. You cannot see him in the video. Maybe he's wearing headphones and repeating after. He's just some fucking clown man. You're speaking Danish. You're speaking all right Danish, so it sounds like a little combination between Swedish and Danish, Danish at times. And remember when pronouncing, for example, Istin, don't say Istin with a normal D sound. Use the English TH sound when pronouncing the D. Ha <laughs> That was really good. Your pronunciation sounds a bit like you are being strangled. So, <laughs> most things would speak it more flowing. Like, but I'm really very impressed. Yeah, bullshit, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just some bullshit. He cannot speak the language. He just read a text. You just read a text and only for the last one half minute or two minutes like that he read the text is fake as whole. Let's try to see this one here in Arabic. Scriptorium, foreign languages, Arabic, Sanskrit, Chinese. Okay, let's try to take a look here on the Arabic video, this fucking clown. Alexander Guilis demonstrates his techniques of transcribing foreign languages. For an artist's description of his method, please refer to. Let's see what is this link, this fucking asshole man. Okay, some fucking scammer link, asshole shit hole man. What the fuck is this man? I think it's just some athlete link shit. Fuck hole man. Fucking ass hole man. I notice here it says languages with Babel. So it looks like this is a link to the app and the website Babel. Because those shit holes from Babel, they're working together with the polyglot scammers, those fucking shit holes. From this language learning app and website Babel, they're working together with the polyglot YouTubers. That's why he makes some affiliate links to this Babel. This fucking shithole scammer. Fuck. 
fucking shithole man it's just some athlete link sing this fucking asshole man yeah this guy is totally amazing there seems to be absolutely no limits to his linguistic skills yeah bullshit with you yeah fuck you man Yeah, he's just doing same like the other clown that I showed you on my channel before. This guy who want to pretend that he can learn Arabic in six months. If you watch my other video, I cannot remember the name of that clown. Some Asian guy who pretend that he will learn Arabic in six months. He also just writes something in Arabic and then he pretend that he can speak the language. You fucking asshole. Just because you write something in Arabic doesn't mean that you can speak the language. Also, we cannot see him. Now we cannot see him. We cannot see if he's looking at something and just writing the same. And I'm very sure 100% 100% he's looking at something and then he just write the same as the as what he's looking at he's looking at some screen he's looking at some screen or some paper or something and then he just write the same text and maybe he's wearing some headset maybe he's wearing some headset and listening how to pronounce it and say those things also Yeah, fuck you, man. Just some bullshit, man. Just because you write something in Arabic and read what you write doesn't mean that you can speak Arabic, you fake asshole. But of course, too many low intelligent people will think that this is a proof. Too many low intelligent people will think that this is a proof that he can speak the language just because he writes something in the language and read what he write. Just because you write two lines or one half line, just because you write two lines or one half line in Arabic and read that one half line doesn't mean that you can speak Arabic and the same with the Chinese, you fake asshole. Just because you wrote something in Arabic, one half line or two lines in Arabic and read what you wrote doesn't mean that you can speak Arabic and because you wrote one or two lines in Chinese and read what you wrote doesn't mean that you can speak Chinese, you fake asshole. And he do like this in all the languages, this fake shithole. But too many low intelligent people believe in this bullshit. You can see all the languages, he just writes something and then he pretend that he can speak the language, this fucking asshole, or he just read from a book. He read from a book or write something, then he pretend that he can speak the language, but too many low intelligent people believe in this bullshit. Dutch. And here he show a book in Dutch, he show a book in Dutch, then he want to pretend that he can speak Dutch, this fake asshole. Dutch languages of the world introduced. Doctory overviews, yeah, fuck you, man. 
Yeah, pool shit with you, you fake asshole. You notice in the comments that the Dutch national hobby is complaining. Yeah, fuck you, man. Alexander, there's one thing I want to say. Respect, you, dude. Where did you learn the Dutch language? You did an awesome job. Thanks for commenting. Why you did not tell him how you learned the Dutch language or where you learned the Dutch language? He asked you, where did you learn the Dutch language? He asked you, where did you learn the Dutch language? Then you tell him, thanks for commenting. Because you cannot speak Dutch, you fake asshole. And look, this comment was 12 years ago. He made that comment 12 years ago. And when did the scammer respond him? He responded him only two months ago. After 12 years, he responded him. After 12 years, he responded him just to say thanks for commenting. I think now he will just reply everyone and tell them thanks for the comments or some bullshit like that. And here he will use Google Translate, of course, to respond him or something. <laughs> yeah. He just write thank you in Dutch. It doesn't mean that you can speak Dutch, you fucking asshole, man. I had to laugh at the accent, but I have a lot of respect for that. My compliments. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. It is indeed a unique, unique statement, but cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Waters. Is he in family of Water Cordovina or what? Yeah. <laughs> He cannot speak the language, this fucking clown. It sounds a bit like he learned Dutch 70 years ago. Judging by the example books, I may not be that far off. <laughs> yeah. And he just write thank you in Dutch one word. He just find on the internet how to write thank you in Dutch or use Google Translate. Also, he replied two months ago. Look, this comment is eight years ago. Eight years ago, four years ago, four years ago. Then he respond two months ago. He respond them like eight years later. They made a comment eight years ago. Then he respond two months ago. After eight years, you respond them just to write one word. Thank you using Google Translate. You fake clown man. Just some bullshit man. Just a bullshit man. Congratulations on your language reviews. I hope you do realize you are lacking a lot in the pronunciation of Dutch and German. I have a lot of respect for linguistic knowledge and will perhaps even contact you. Contact you. Contact you. Contact. Not contact, but contact. Contact without a C. Contact or contact without a C. Okay. To obtain more information about the history of the language for my academic research. How about learning how to spell contact be first before you want to do research about language academic bullshit? I don't think this needs to be mentioned. He never claimed to have flawless pronunciation. This is a linguistic exercise, a lesson, not a language course. Okay, linguistic exercise, and he cannot pronounce correctly, and he could not pronounce the Danish correctly, he could not pronounce the Norwegian correctly, he could not pronounce the Arabic correctly, and I'm very sure all the languages the same. So making some videos, reading a text in many languages, and trying to pronounce it. What is so special about this? Like what the fuck man. So anyone can just make a lot of videos. Reading some text in many languages. And pretend that they know the language. Or that they know something about languages.
Just some bullshit. So people tell him that he's pronouncing wrong and also he cannot speak the language. So anyone can just go to YouTube and make many videos in different languages reading from some book or reading from a script and pretending to know about languages and then people will find it impressive. Like what is impressive that he just read something and then he also read it wrong. Like he read it with the wrong pronunciation and he don't know the fucking language. Like what is impressive about this you fucking clown man. What does it look like and what does it sound like and how does it work? Here's a page from uh, a Dutch novel. And if you're the kind of person who's interested in watching a video like this and has the English language background or competence to follow it, then I think you should be able to intuit relatively swiftly that you are looking to go through the whole process. If you don't know the languages, it's always a good process of elimination to wonder if it's German because German has more uh, native... You also don't know the languages, you also don't know the languages, you fake asshole. The speakers are more public... S set, uh, that distinctive German double S uh, character at the end. Yeah, yeah, every video you will just tell people about some letters and how to pronounce them or that they're different from the other languages. Just something that you read about or someone told you, then you will just tell the same, you fucking asshole, and you're speaking English now, same like all your videos, you will speak in English start of the video, and the last few minutes you will just read some text in the language, you fake asshole. Words, and what you reach that doesn't have accent markers on it, you, you know your uh, you can yeah, family, death in the family. Okay, so the first three minutes he speak in English. sound like and uh, how does it work okay so the first three minutes he will speak in english and after that he will read some text in dutch here this fucking clown it sounds something like this and uh, it works like this dood and the familia dood death and on or in the the familia family death in the family 46 years later, stand I on the stairbed of my half-sister. 46, 6 and 40, 46. The letters in almost all the European languages, the letters in almost all the European language are same letters. So anyone, even a kid, even a kid or teenager can take a book in Swedish or Norwegian or Danish or German or French or Portuguese or in Dutch or any European language they can just take a book and try to read it even if they pronounce it wrong they can still read it even if they pronounce it wrong and you clown are doing the exactly same a teenager or a kid can do exactly same find any book in a European language and read it even if they pronounce it wrong and you're doing the same you fucking clown because Many people tell you that you're pronouncing wrong, you fucking abnormal clown man. You fucking clown. You cannot even pronounce it correctly and you're just reading from a script. I had to laugh at the accent, but I have a lot of respect for that. Me too. It is indeed a unique statement. It sounds a bit like he learned Dutch 70 years ago. Anyone who can read European language or know some European language can read any other European language even if they pronounce it wrong. You fucking clown, there's nothing impressive about this just because you find some book. Just because you find some book in some European language and, and read it, you fucking clown man. Jaar, years, later, later, stond, stood, ik, I, aan, on or at, het, open, 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 eyes, others died with open eyes. Zag iets wat wij niet zagen. 
takes him half minute. It takes him half minute just to read two lines or something. You fucking clown, man. Brother, brother, sister, sister, son, son, and man, and and husband. Uh, so she saw something that uh, we did not see, and we saw Vec, uh, away. Uh, you fucking abnormal clown, man. Um, German is what's known as a high Germanic language, whereas both English and Dutch are what's known as low Germanic languages. Actually, the, the official name for German is Hochdeutsch, high German relative to, to the mountains, to the Alps, or to the, the sea. And English and Dutch both being uh, low Germanic languages, they will say some features that we see here. Here's the word for what in Dutch is wat, and in German it's was. And here is the word for uh, that in Dutch is... Yeah, you just find some book about learning Dutch, and then you want to pretend that you know the language, you fake asshole. And he do like this in all the languages. You can see all the videos are the same. All the videos are same like this. This fake asshole man. Frisian. What does it look like? And what does it sound? Here, Frisian language. Okay, nothing interesting in the comments. Just bullshit nonsense. Like, and how does it work? You'd remember our uh, little Dutch video where we saw some of the distinctive features in Dutch where the absence of any accent mark is apostrophes in, in front of N uh, are not only on the thing, something a little bit like this. Doet net lang voor de tweede broodoorlog in Friske wetenschappelijke instelling uit de einzetten wie ik een van de nabeneemde leden uit Engeland oorkomen om de opening bij te wenden. Do it, when, when it, net, not, lang, long, for. And he pretend that he know the meaning of the words. He pretends that he know the meaning of the words. But you cannot see him. You cannot see him. Then what does that mean? It means that he can hold another paper in his hand or beside of him. He can have another paper where he read the meaning. He can have another paper beside of this paper on the left side or the right side there or hold some paper in his hand where he read the meaning of the words I'm very sure he wrote down the meaning of all these words on another paper then he look on the other paper and tell you the meaning then people will think that he know the language this fake asshole uh, before the the twada second world or law, world war in a Friske, Frisian, Wittenskippelige, uh, uh, scientific or scholarly, instelling, uh, conference or colloquium. You don't know the language, you fake asshole. You're looking at some other paper where you, you, where you look and read the meaning of the words. He look at another paper where he look and read the meaning of the words. And people will say, oh, how can he do that? Like, is it not possible? Like, is this impossible? Is it impossible for him to have another paper where he wrote down the meaning of all those words? It's just one page. He's just going to read half page or one page like that or few lines. He's only going to read few lines and tell you the meaning of the words in those lines. Of course, he can have, an, have another paper. He can have another paper in his other hand or on the table, another paper 
where he wrote down the meaning of those words and then he would just look and read the meaning of those words. Just some bullshit. Um, Frisian, if I take this down and uh, put this here in its place. You can see he have many things there on the table. He have some other books and other things on the table. Maybe on the left side or on the right side, outside of the camera view. Outside of the camera view, maybe he have some paper on the table where he wrote down the meaning of the different words. And also maybe he's listening to some head, heads on some headset, listening how to read the words. He just bullshitting people, but too many low intelligent people believe in this bullshit. You can see all the videos in all the languages are same like this. All the videos in all the languages are same like this. Look the thumbnail. Look the thumbnail pictures. All the videos he just show some book or some paper that he's reading from. All the videos he's just reading from some paper or some book pretending to know the language. This fake shithole man. He's just some fucking fake asshole shithole but too many low intelligent people believe in this bullshit. Just some fucking fake shithole man. He's just some fucking fake shithole scammer but too many low intelligent people believe in this bullshit. Too many low intelligent people believe in this bullshit because there are too many low intelligent people in the world. He cannot speak any of those languages and if he knows something in some languages maybe he practice few languages. I don't know maybe he practice few languages. But all what I see looks fake. All what I see looks fake because he's just some fake shit hole. But too many low intelligent people believe in this bullshit. Looking at some book and reading something or writing down two sentences in Arabic or two sentences in Chinese doesn't mean that you can speak the language. He's just some fake asshole, fake polyglot and a scammer making money scamming people same like all the polyglot YouTubers. All this language learning community is just some fucking scam community. Just some fake shithole scammer fooling and scamming people. And there's a very big chance that he can all speak one language English. There's a very big chance that he can all speak one language English. That's why when he read the other languages, he have some English pronunciation. When he read the other European languages, when he read the other European languages, he have some American accent. When he read the other European la languages and he just look and read it, he have some American accent. And he cannot pronounce it correctly. Why? Why? Because I think he can only speak one language, English, this fake asshole. Subscribe to my channel now. Remember, subscribe to my channel. See you. اشترك في القناة دلوقتي. افتكر اشترك في القناة. اشوفك. Uskat abonnea for my channel no Uskat abonnea Vises Abonnevo a machine man Abonnevo Abonnevo a machine